I'm doing okay. How are you? Man, I can't complain. It's been fun so far. Y'all are making sense, so. Sorry we're not hot women, so. <laughs> Bring the hot girls back. <laughs> I agree. The only one of us is a hot guy. <laughs> I'll go ahead. I'll defer to my comments. I'll go ahead. Yes, sir. Magic Guitar is going to get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our main event. Give them a big hand. Derek Humphrey. Uh, Derek uh, was in the Navy. He actually got PST, uh, PSTD, so uh, he still gets the shakes and the fries and the jalapeno <laughs> peppers. <laughs> oh, man, Matt's a great comic. He left finance to pursue his passion in life, date rape. <laughs> Derek, you look like you're banned from both strip clubs and petting zoos. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Matt looks like if Elliot Page transitioned even further. <laughs> so Derek uh, grew up in the Midwest. He's also lived in the South. Uh, living in New York City is hard for him because he doesn't have enough trees to scratch his back on. <laughs> Better go home before someone eats your porridge. <laughs> Matt's Jewish, which is weird because he's poor and handsome. It's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you're not Jewish because you will need a pig's heart to replace your aorta. and then we bring out the big guns later. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You guys, uh, this looks like an AA meeting, but like in LA where they accept like actors and truck drivers, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Everyone's involved. Um, I'm gonna give that round to Derek. I thought he had some great ones for that one, so I'm yeah. giving that to Derek. Oh yeah, uh, that was great. It's like a team up between the bad guys from Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Get Out. Um, <laughs> or like different <laughs> stages of when the beast turns into the prince, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, that was really close. I think I would give it to Derek as well, but I'm excited to see the next round. There you go, that's Thank Mr. Derek Humphrey, Jackie McDade. Uh, full disclosure, uh, Matthew is a good friend of mine. Uh, yes, he does have friends. And <laughs> I did kind of like that you were flipping through the cards. It lo kind of looks like you're making a speech about why we shouldn't integrate the school. <laughs> Separate but equal. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, Derek, I thought you had really good jokes, man, all the way through, but uh, Matthew had the comeback right in the middle where he flipped it on you with the pig heart thing, and I think uh, a couple of Matthew's jokes hit a little bit harder, so I'm going to give it to Matthew first round. All right. Hell yeah. There you go. Well, this fucking battle was amazing. This looks like when you see fucking the dude at Blink training with his trainer for the first time. You know what I mean? You know, and you know it's going to be... I'm just playing. He would fucking... Matt would never be at Blink. If Derek goes to Planet Fitness to support other planets. Um, I think <laughs> that... <laughs> I can't criticize y'all, man. That was a fucking amazing round, man. Matt looks like he watches Succession. Derek looks like his organs are failing in them. I think, uh, I think, I don't know who the fuck to call for that first round. I, th I, th I think fucking, I think just by a hair. I think you got it just by that rebuttal at the end, yo. I think just by a hair. Great first round. I'm excited for the next one. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, we have a tie. Yeah. So, hmm, what you think? I say we do two more rounds. To yeah, see what happens. <laughs> gotcha. yeah. That's a good call. Great call indeed. Y'all, round two. Derek, you going first. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Matt's family has really strong southern roots, which is his excuse for never featuring black comics. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, Matt's really good at promoting his material and his work. It's really easy when your people control the media. <laughs> oh, uh, 
Matt's a math nerd who coached women's swimming. Their nickname for him was R2 Me Too. <laughs> Uh, Matt's an unsuccessful screenwriter. Matt's had more dead pilots than 9-11. Oh, cool. Awesome. Uh, Derek, like I said, as a veteran, he saw combat. He actually even uh, had uh, bombs shot at him, but luckily... His neck fat roll prevented any whiplash. <laughs> I use the same thing to sleep on planes. All right. <laughs> One of his jobs in the Navy was he inspected uh, packages for anthrax, but they fired him because he kept getting powdered sugar on the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this one works. Um, Derek joined the Navy in 2000 before 9-11, you Islamophobic hipster. Yeah. This is Derek. He was like, yeah, I was killing Muslims before it was cool. <laughs> Are these missiles free range? Yes, I prefer Sunnis over Shiites. I got to see Saddam live and then writhing and then dead. He <laughs> uh, <laughs> was part of the uh, initial attack uh, in Iraq for uh, yeah, the war in Iraq. Uh, actually, his loud mouth breathing was the reason they had enough time to hide the WMDs. <laughs> He's seen more of Dick Cheney than his own dick. <laughs> he wanted to work on submarines and actually qualified because he was the only guy who could communicate with the whales. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause, huh? Excellent. Shit. <laughs> Shout out to the whoever. That's not that true. <laughs> oh. All right, Steve, I'm going to start with you, man. Who you got? Man, this round was crazy. I feel like Derek had a couple really big fucking pops. Matt was just a fucking machine gun all night with those jokes. That was amazing. Derek, thank you for your service. Matt, thank you for yelping about bad service. I appreciate that. <laughs> Both equally important. I just want to see a fucking third round, so I'm giving this to Derek, all right? This was a fucking great round. I want to see a third one. Yeah. I want to see a third round, too. We tied, though, right? This, the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to see a third round, too. You guys are both amazing. Um, Derek, you look like my dad, and Matthew, you look like my daddy issues. Um, <laughs> Um, right here. Also, you guys sort of look like a Tinder date. You know, ugly people can be on Tinder or on uh, Grind. I'm in Grinder. It's like a bear, and then okay, never mind. You're hot. You're not. Anyways, um, I'm gonna give that one to Matthew for the props and the powdered sugar joke. There you go. Yeah, uh, Matthew looks like the guy who's uh, strapping skis on top of his Audi, and uh, Derek looks like the guy who's stealing the catalytic converter from underneath it. <laughs> So it's a really good battle. I think um, I think this one was kind of a toss-up. Uh, I give the slight edge to Derek in this round. I think Derek took it. I definitely want to see a third round. Good job, Derek. Um, yeah, this was another great round. I'd give it like a 9 out of 11. But uh, <laughs> I would say it was super close. I think uh, my favorite was the whale joke, so I'd give it to Matthew. But yeah, I'm excited to see the next round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the third round. And... Derek Humphreys takes round two. Give him a round of applause, y'all. <laughs> now then, round three, five jokes, tit for tat. Matt Broussard's going to start it, y'all. Give him big energy for our main event. Let's roll. As, as part of his military training, Derek went through uh, weapons training. He is equipped to use rifles, guns, and a rag on a stick that he uses to clean himself in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's younger, he's more handsome, he's more successful. I guess the only thing I really have on Matt is being a real man. <laughs> Derek was late coming here tonight. He uh, got stuck at a tube in a chocolate factory. <laughs> Uh, Matt's family is the second worst thing to happen to black people in New Orleans. <laughs> uh, Derek uh, is a comedian. He's also an actor. Uh, he actually just recently booked the lead role in CW's Young Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> um, uh, 
Matt's dad told me I had Parkinson's, but it was just his excuse for shaking him as a baby. <laughs> the last time Derek ran was when he was chased by the dog in the sandlot. <laughs> Uh, Matt's girlfriend asked him to stop saying the N-word, and he said, how dare you take away my heritage? <laughs> Derek is a very uh, impressive guy. He was in the Navy. He was a hotel manager. He was a wine store manager, and now he works for Microsoft, and he does comedy. This guy is a machine. Uh, I'm sorry, he's a sleep apnea machine. <laughs> Uh, my dad was an addict, but Matt's dad had so Parkinson, so his dad was the one who died because of the shakes. Wow, you guys are really, I'm, I'm from the South, and you guys are really giving, like, my Southern uncle who bought a tanning bed but can't close it because his beer gut, and then you're, like, the Southern, like, hot politician. Um, unfortunately, I do have to give this to Derek. I thought Derek closed this one out. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, this was an amazing round. I think uh, as a nerd, I got taken out of it when he said CW instead of Disney Plus for Job of the Hutt's uh, intellectual property. But uh, no, no. I, can I defer or something? I don't know. This is so close. I don't know what. I don't know. All right, I'll <laughs> defer my phone. <laughs> I fucking, I love this round. I love both the movie references, The Chocolate Factory and The Sandlot. It was such a fucking good joke. I think Derek just hit just a fucking little bit harder. That's all, yo. He fucking brought the heat in the third round. I love this whole battle. This whole battle is incredible. I'm going to give that last round to Derek, though. Uh, this is tough, because like, I think the best joke of the round was when, uh, when Matthew said that uh, Derek got stuck in a tube in a chocolate factory. That was good. That really created Somewhere a powerful accurate. visual for me. <laughs> that was very good. Yeah, but I, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's and now Derek's punching up his own jokes. That's a sign of a true comic. Uh, and Derek, Derek's jokes were really, really good the whole way throughout. I think, I don't know. I think I'm gonna give it to Matthew. Just kind of put it in Jacob's hands. Put all the pressure <laughs> on you. But uh, yeah, I think I give a slight edge to Matthew. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, Clearly nepotism. Oh, okay. I'll also, yeah, this was super close. I would also vote for Matthew, I guess. But uh, is it tied now or what? I don't know. All right. Uh, no, 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 no need, no need. Don't worry, y'all. We got it. So that's what I'm about to announce. You were about three seconds ahead. Shh. Now then, y'all, she think Rosa's, we got that, right? Uh, we might. How many, how many we this one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got it. Let's do that then. So, y'all, we going to do one more and shit. To the crowd. Yeah, let's give it to the crowd. So, we'll do one more. We'll give it to y'all, man. So, shit. Derek, it's on you, man. All right. One more. Uh, I gotta be honest, it's really hard to roast Matt because there's only so many ways you can call a dude gay. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Hagrid going on a job interview. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. Nah, nigga. <laughs> We have reached our obligation point. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, it's on you now, okay? I'm going to announce a name. I want y'all to make noise, okay? Make the noise for the person you want to win, and then we'll have it at that. So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, Matthew Broussard. <laughs> all right. Derek Humphrey. <laughs> And the winner of our main event battle tonight, Derek Humphreys, ladies and gentlemen. Give them both a round of applause for a kick-ass battle. And ladies and gentlemen, please, 